When you focus on the breath, you're feeding the mind. The mind goes through the day and trying to feed on all kinds of things. As the Buddha said, this is what marks us as beings. The beings always have to feed. Plants have to feed, animals have to feed, and we have to feed both physically and mentally. And it's the mental food that causes a lot of the problems. It's like physical food. If you're not careful about what you take in, what you're feeding on, it can cause all, all sorts of harm to your system. So you have to be very careful. Watch what you're watching. Watch what you're listening to. Watch what you're smelling, tasting, touching. Ask yourself, why am I doing these things? Because in each case there has to be an intention that goes out to pick up information. And then it brings that information back in. What's the intention? Who's doing the looking? Who's doing the listening? Sometimes greed, aversion, and delusion are doing the looking. It's not the case that you're just sitting here totally innocently and things just happen to pass by. You go out looking for trouble sometimes. A little bit of lust arises in the mind. You go out looking for something to aggravate the lust. Or a little bit of dis-ease, irritation arises in the mind. You go out and look for something to get angry about. So you have to watch out for that habit, because that can create a lot of trouble. Because you start feeding on all kinds of wrong things, and you feed the wrong way. You have to look at why you're looking and also what the results of your looking are. And the same with your listening and your use of the other senses. And you find yourself in a case where lust is doing the looking, okay, look in a way that can calm the lust down. If anger is doing the looking, look in a way that will calm the anger down. In the case of anger, we see somebody that we really don't like and they're doing th really horrible things. You have to remind yourself, well, there must be some good to them, otherwise they wouldn't be human beings. And if all you can think about is how bad they are, are you going to, are you going to be able to think about the wise thing to do to stop them? Because you have to be able to step out of the anger if you're going to be effective. So learn to look at a way that puts you out of the anger. So that when you look, it's your wisdom is doing the looking, your discernment is doing the looking. Now as you go through the day, you're not cluttering up the mind with all kinds of bad things, and you're not cluttering up your system with all kinds of bad food. When the time comes to meditate, it's a lot easier to settle down just be right here, because the mind feels nourished, it feels well-fed in terms of everyday things, and now when you're focusing on the breath, you can feed it even better things. So meditation isn't just about sitting here with your eyes closed. It's how you go through the day and deal with sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations, and the mind's desires to go out for sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations. If you can deal with that skillfully, then it's a lot easier to meditate in the formal way as well. <laughs>